Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I titled this message, The I Want Trap. The I Want Trap. And some people have been, unfortunately, trapped by folks who have told them that, well, you know, you can just go to God and just pray all these prayers about what you want. But if he don't move fast enough, well, you know, there's other ways. There's other ways of getting your needs met. And those other ways, unfortunately, are filled with sinful activities, the types of things that put you in a deeper trap. So you went from a thought, a mere thought of I want to now I got debt. I got problems I'm in sin and I can't see my way out. OK, then some people, they are just beginning the I want trap, right? They're walking toward it. Uh, they are not necessarily trapped yet, but the enemy has plans for them. And the I want trap keeps you, keeps you from not listening to the Lord, from not obeying him, for, from not trusting in him. Instead, you trust in yourself. And then when yourself lets you down, then you want to start taking your anger, your disappointment, your frustration on other people because you didn't get what you wanted. It's like the two-year-old who didn't get the toy. Wah, 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 mommy, mommy. Okay. I want the toy. I want the toy. And then eventually either one, the mother caves into the pressure and goes ahead and gives the baby a toy or she ends up disciplining the child. Okay. Or she may say, listen, if you do this and do that, then maybe I will get you this or I will get you that. And for some two year, year olds, they don't understand that. They're just going to continue to fall out anyway. Okay. So you have some of these adults who act just like this. They don't understand what it means to wait. And so they fall into the trap of I want. And the enemy says, oh, yeah, <laughs> I want to. And before long, someone is crying, someone else is hurting, and another person may even be six feet deep messing around in the I want trap. Now, what does this sort of thing look like when it comes to relationships? Well, if a woman wants a man, right, and she says, Lord, I want a man, or there's a man who wants a woman. And so they go ahead and they write down all of what they want in a man or in a woman, and they put that long list in the Bible and they trust that God is going to work that whole thing out. Okay. For some people, if it is in the right time, in the right season, God goes ahead and he blesses those individuals and things are pretty smooth. But if it is the wrong time, the wrong partner, wrong season, and you name it, then no, things don't stay smooth for long. Okay. If anything, they become quite turbulent. OK, storms start showing up. Uh, people start realizing that what they thought was a good man, good woman really wasn't nothing more than a facade. You got some people who they fall into the I want trap due to desperation, neediness. I just got to have a man. Why do you have to have a man so bad right now? Because I'm tired of being alone. And besides, I don't want to end up. Being caught up in some sin, having, you know, sex out of wedlock and so forth, and then maybe having a baby that I haven't planned for. So that's why I just need a man. I need a man. Wow. Those are, those are some really good reasons. Oh, don't you be judging. Well, I'm just saying those are some really good reasons as to why you want a man. I mean, I, I know there's some other reasons, but I'm just saying. OK, well, why don't you wait on God then? Well, I'm tired of waiting on God. It's been five years. It's been 10 years. It's been 15 years. Well, the reason why it's taking so long, could it be that God still sees that you have some vulnerabilities, that you have some weaknesses and that you are prone to attracting emotionally and or physically abusive men? Same thing goes with some of these men out here. And so it's going to take longer until you learn the lessons. It's going to take longer to meet Mr. Right, you know, or Miss Right. It's going to take longer. Well, I don't have, I don't have a lot of life in me and you don't know what God got in store for you. So why don't you just take your time? 
Well, you know, everybody around me is getting married. Oh, so that's the reason why you should be getting married too. And every one of those people about two, five, eight years later, you realize they don't have the best relationships either because they too didn't want to wait. Just learn, just learn from your mistakes, you see. So some of us, we have told people different things and yet they still want to continue to do what they want to do. Okay. I will tell you that when it comes to this rush to do things, and I can speak to this because I did it over and over again. When it comes to this rush to do things, you end up becoming further and further away from the Lord. And then it becomes harder to hear from him. You don't see the spiritual renewal taking place. You become stagnant. You're susceptible to being taunted by demons, carrying demons, and spreading the philosophy of demons. Rush to go into employment. Rush to go have a baby. Rush to go buy something that you know you can't afford. All of this rushing and for what? To be caught up in the trap of I want. Because once you get all those things, you know you're going to want something else. You had the baby, now you need a crib. Now you need diapers. Now you need wipes. Now you need somebody to help you babysit and, or, you know, watch your child, I should say, while you go to work. Uh, now you need, you see, the, the I want list only grows. It grows the more you receive. And then when you're still not satisfied for any number of reasons, now you have a different kind of I want list. And it's not based on material things. Instead, it's I want peace. I want love. I want joy. I want wisdom. I want truth. Okay? Some of you all, you are in a perfect place right now where you don't have a lot of stuff and that's a good thing. But, but, but no, no, no. It's a beautiful thing. It's, it's, it's just wonderful. You know why? Because less stuff, less responsibility. Less stuff. Your list of I want isn't so much if, if you are walking with the Lord. Now, if you're not walking with the Lord, you're not doing what God wants you to do. Then your I want list is worse than the person who got everything. I want a house. I want a car. I want a man or a woman. I want to be able to go and travel. I want to have more money. I want to have. And a lot of times that I want more money stuff. It's not that you need more money. It's based on. The fact that you don't take care of the money that you already have in a way where it stretches, where it goes a little bit further. Some people don't want to change their spending habits. That's why they say, I want more money. And that's rooted out of laziness. And you know how God feels about laziness. Okay. God works. <laughs> you know, Jesus, he was on a mission. It's, it's active. You know, walking with the Lord is active. Now, when you are trusting and believing and waiting on him, you get the things that meet your needs. I'm not going to say that you're never going to want anything else because you always want something. But it's not an obsession. You know, it's not something that I've got to get two, three, four jobs in order to accomplish. OK, you are content where you are while everybody else is like, but we got to get this and we got to get that. And we and da, 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 and it's never enough money and all that other stuff. Well, you're not that person anymore. You may have once been like that, but you're not now, you see, because you have matured in the faith and you realize that I don't need to have everything. And if I do want more, then I need to start scaling down on all of these things I already have that are costing me A, B, and C, right? Maybe I don't need a house, right? Maybe I don't need a car. Maybe I don't need to be attending a university, and maybe I'm better off just having a job for now since I just have a few immediate needs and then I can pick up on education later or I can uh, join a group or I can do some uh, self online study where I don't have to spend so much money. I mean, there's ways to do some things right in order to get some things accomplished. And some people their I want list isn't bad. It's not bad at all. You know, some of these things might be less than 100 bucks. 
So a little tweak here, a little tweak there. And the next thing you know, they, they got their items. But then you got some people who their I want list is in the thousands. And so when you got those kind of I want lists, yes, you got to work more. You got to invest more. You got to save more. You got to, you know, <laughs> put some other people around you to work. I mean, you got a lot of, a lot of stuff you got to do in order to get, in order to get those needs met. Or maybe they're just what I want and not necessarily I needs. Knowing one's priorities, spending the time, the quiet time with the Lord and talking to him about your needs. And not necessarily your wants. The Lord may be answering your prayers like this. You say, I want this. The Lord says, you need to do this. Well, I want that. The Lord says, when are you going to address your immediate need right now? Okay. So take a moment right now and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, please help me to put all of my needs in perspective as opposed to my wants. I pray in Jesus' name that you will order my steps toward the necessary help to get some needs met. And I pray that I will be more obedient and listen to you rather than fight up against the things that you are saying or using others to say to me. Not to hurt me, but to free me up out of anything that might bind me. I ask in Jesus' name for your assistance in my life. And to cause me to not want so much and to help me be more patient and anything else, Lord, that I need, I pray these things in Jesus' name. Real simple prayer, right? Nothing special, nothing long, nothing flowery. Straight to the point. Well, I thank you as always for taking time out of your busy schedule to listen You've been listening to YouTube, NM Enterprise 7. Subscribe today. Also, if you haven't given, we do welcome donations. And please do check the description box for anything that might be of interest. Because I tell you what, sometimes these I wants, right? Falling into this I want trap is based on that controlling mother, that controlling father. It's based on uh, being around some toxic folks who they're in bondage and they don't mind. Putting you in bondage. You know, misery loves company. And so when you understand what is motivating you or who is motivating you to feel the way that you do, you might have to distance yourself. Okay. So that is it. Blessings to you.